Hi, and welcome to Leslie's Pool Care Tips. I'm Rick, and today I'm going to show you how to clean your filter. There are three different types of pool filters. There's a cartridge filter, a DE filter, and a sand filter. Today I'm going to show you how to clean a cartridge filter. Here's some of the things you may need to clean your pool filter. A garden hose, a spray nozzle for your garden hose, some filter cleaner, a large bucket to put your cartridges in when you're cleaning them, Okay, so now we're gonna show you how to clean your cartridge filter. The intent is to get it looking as close to this as possible, which is a new cartridge. Um, again, the idea is to clean it frequently so that you can get the best life out of your cartridge. There's a few different ways to go about cleaning it. There is a spray solution, which you just go ahead and you spray it all down, wait 10 minutes, 15 minutes or so, then you're gonna hose it down. Or another way of doing it is using a solution for it to soak in. In order to soak your cartridge, you're gonna need either you know, some large buckets, a large trough or something that you can fill up with water and then use the right uh, amount of solution. Something else you can use, these filter tabs, these are great, they're convenient. They're just like your, uh, your other solution for soaking it. Again, you're gonna fill a bucket or a container with nice clean water. You throw this in there, it's kind of like an Alka-Seltzer tab. It's gonna fizz and foam up and bubble a little bit. You put your cartridge in there. You go ahead, you wait a little bit. It's gonna clean you know, all the nasties that are, uh, that are in your cartridge. Then after you've either sprayed it or you've gone through the soak uh, process, you're gonna need to rinse it with some fresh water. For that, you're gonna use your garden hose. But first, I wanna make sure to let you know not to use a pressure washer. Something really important, a, a little bit of a tip there for you. Whenever you use a pressure washer, it's just way too much pressure for your cartridge. In fact, it'll end up damaging it, and you'll have to go out and buy new ones because you ruin your cartridge. So what you're gonna use, you can, you can use your standard garden hose attachment. When you're using this um, on your garden hose, you're just gonna wanna make sure to keep it at an angle. So as a point of reference, when your water is actually, um, actually filtering, it's coming in from the outside and going in through, through the pleats here, they call them, then back down into the pool. That's important to note so that you're not spraying the debris again deeper and deeper into the cartridge. So you wanna keep it at an angle. I start at the top and just kinda of work my way down, being patient or as patient as you can be as you're going through each of these pleats with your garden hose. A much simpler way of doing it is using a cartridge cleaning tool. Again, hooks up to your garden hose, has this real nice handy on and off feature to turn the water on and off. Again, you hook that up and you can see there's a whole bunch of nozzles here. This makes it much easier because it's gonna shoot the water out of these nozzles. You're gonna be able to get it right into those pleats. Again, keep it at an angle. Go ahead, start at the top, work your way down. After you've made your way all the way through the cartridge, you know what, flip it over. And you're gonna start from this side, do the same thing. Keep it at an angle with that water running, start from the top and just work your way down. You know, a few other things to mention that are really important um, are gonna be how often to clean your, uh, your cartridges. Again, you really wanna use, uh, use your gauge as an indicator. When that pressure is eight to 10 PSI uh, higher than normal operating pressure, you wanna go ahead and clean it. On that note, this gauge is really important. So as you take a look at the gauge, and as you can see with the system off, it's actually sitting at zero. That's a good thing. If your system is off, you look at the gauge and the gauge isn't at zero, you wanna make sure to go ahead and replace the gauge. Otherwise you really don't know where your starting and, uh, and end point is. Then lastly, uh, when it comes to replacing your cartridge filters, it's really gonna vary by make and model. You know, typically in a system that has four cartridges, you know what, you can get three, four, possibly even five years out of them. Average is usually about three years until you need to replace those cartridges. A little bit of a pro tip for you, if you wanna make those cartridges last a little bit longer, don't just clean them regularly, but get on some type of regular maintenance schedule of using an enzyme. Um, you know, something that I use is Perfect Weekly. You just add that in there every week and what it contains are these enzymes that actually help break down what I call the nasties. That's all the oils and organic suntan lotions, shampoos and makeup. And all that builds up all over your filters and it degrades, uh, degrades the filters. And you know, it's not really keeping a healthy ecosystem for your pool. A clean pool starts with a clean filter. I'm Rick and thanks for joining me on Leslie's Pool Care Tips.